Hi everyone, in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what your tarot guides would like for you would like for you to know at this particular point in time. So this is a reading for those of you that have felt drawn to this reading. This is a reading for those of you that need the messages most and that will resonate with the messages most. It doesn't remain a general reading, but if you are after a personal one, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email below the video. Otherwise, let's dive into the messages. bottom of the deck is the four of wands you're on a journey you are going to you are going places you're on your way to somewhere you're definitely headed somewhere. You, you're, go, you're on an adventure. You're on a journey. You are going places. You are connecting with people. You are meeting new people on this journey. You are having some new experiences. You are having some familiar experiences. Um, for some of you, this is a major journey of transformation. And wherever it is that you're heading, wherever it is that you're taking on, it's a journey. It's it's a journey, and it's a feeling of you coming home to whatever this is. See, a lot of you listening to this video, this reading, are uh, you're at a point where I feel like you recognize that. You're a spiritual being, right? And you have this. You're just visiting this earth temporarily. And you so deeply want to know your mission in life. And you want to use your time here as wisely, as intently, and as purposely as you as possible. For some of you, I feel like you've lost yourself. Okay? You have lost yourself. Maybe you even feel like you've lost the meaning or you're losing the meaning of life. Maybe what it is that you're doing, maybe what it is that you're doing for work or maybe the relationships that you're in, the friendships that you have, it doesn't seem to be all that attractive anymore. Maybe you're deeply in love with someone, okay, or maybe you're deeply in love with something it could be a project, a dream, a goal, or an idea, and you feel like you don't know whether you know you're going to face obstacles in pursuing whatever this is, but you don't know whether these obstacles are worth facing to explore if there's a future between you and this person, or to explore if there is a future for you in this in this particular uh, you know with this particular dream. You're having, you're having some really profound insight. Whoever it is that I'm talking to right now is, is been experiencing some difficulty. Has you've been going through something? You've been going through. It feels like inner turmoil because you're feeling, what you're feeling is very profound. And I feel you're opening yourself up because you, you want to, you actively want to participate in this journey, in this transformational journey.
it feels very strongly it can be a physical journey that you're embarking on okay for some of you this could be a physical journey you potentially could be moving very soon okay um even if you don't you haven't you're not really anticipating it or it's not you know you feel like it's not within your plans there is something here that is moving you okay there is an energy that is asking you to get up and go so you could be relocating you could be moving homes you could be moving houses you could be doing some traveling okay you could as i've mentioned maybe you just wake up one day and just feel like wherever you're at in life whatever it is you're doing it's just not that attractive to you anymore you've just lost that zest that passion for whatever it is and all of a sudden you you know you want to go get out there and maybe get reacquainted with yourself or you know discover and find yourself in things that you have lost so you may do some spontaneous traveling um, you may be relocating you might be changing jobs so yes it could be as much of a physical journey as it is like a spiritual or inner journey regardless i feel like it is going to be you are on a journey of growth and it's and it's a journey of profound self-discovery profound self-exploration and it's a journey of you it it feels like it's you're starting out solitary it feels like in you might just be doing this journey on your own and wherever it is you're traveling really light so if it is a physical journey you're packing you're traveling light okay you've only packed a few belongings that you will need with you um otherwise i feel like you're releasing emotional baggage okay on this journey you may start off feeling a heavy energy but as you progress on this journey as you move through this journey you'll start shedding layers you'll start shedding layers you'll start releasing any emotional baggage okay just sort of throwing it overboard whatever it is that you know you no longer need whatever it is that no longer serves you you're releasing and you're detaching and unanchoring yourself from this so it feels like maybe you're starting out on a like solitary it's just you and a little bit of your belongings a little bit of your stuff but i feel like on this journey you're going to connect with some like-minded souls people who are in tune to your vibrations and it's this journey like i said i'm picking up very strongly that you're heading places you're going places you're meeting with people you're connecting with um parts of yourself that you might feel you've lost or parts of yourself that you are yet to discover um you are going to be on this journey you are going to be accompanied by maybe some obstacles or you're going to be accompanied by some challenges but i think these challenges are there to help you redefine yourself help you rediscover yourself um there's going to be some twists and some turns and you might be experiencing these twists and turns um, as I do this reading, okay? There's a shadow side to you. There's a shadow side to you that I feel like prior to you embarking on this journey, there's a shadow side of you that is indecisive and is scared of vulnerability, is scared of criticism. And this shadow side was fearful of embarking on this journey, okay, or embarking on these travels. Um, this is a pilgrimage of the soul. This is what it feels like. And even if for some of you, even if it is, uh, if you're actually going on a physical journey and you just feel like, oh, okay, um, you know, you, you just feel like it just may be a vacation or to get away. You don't understand the experiences you're going to have or the people that you're connect, you're going to connect with. Or I feel like it's going to turn like turn some sort of switch on within you. So it does feel like it, you're going to undergo or you are undergoing some very profound transformation right now. 
you're connecting and you're collaborating with energies around you that share your goal. There are some very strong opposing forces right now. There are some things that are strongly opposing you starting out on this journey and it could be your shadow side. It could be some people who are present in your life who they may not understand you. They may not understand your goals and your dreams and what it is that you want to do. They might just not understand your soul, your energy, your vibration. Um, allow yourself to collaborate with these energies, with these opposing energies. Allow yourself to sort of integrate with these energies because you are going to become stronger and more resilient because of it. Um, don't get influenced, okay? There are some people in your life who don't, they don't get it. They don't get, because you have big dreams, see their dreams are a little bit smaller. Um, and you have certain goals and their goals are a little bit different. And whilst you do have people in your life who maybe have, you know, dreams just as big or who may even have smaller dreams, but they get you. They get you, they understand you and they support you. But there are people in your life who... It could be because they're jealous. It could be because they've always wanted to get up and travel the world or they always wanted to do the things that you're doing, you know, and they always wanted to achieve the personal accomplishments that you've achieved. Or they've always wanted to live a life where they weren't bothered by what anyone else says or thinks about them. You know, they were just, they're just so carefree. Whatever it is you're doing, these opposing energies might be jealous because you're doing what they've always wanted to do or what they felt like they couldn't do. Don't let them weigh you down, okay? Allow yourself to emerge stronger and more resilient because of these energies. The world is opening itself up to you and for some of you I'm hearing that you're starting all over again. Um, Some of you, you need to hold back and stop yourself. You need to hold, okay, there's a far away, there's something you're looking at far away in the distance. It feels like maybe it's, it could be a goal or a dream or a place or a destination you've always wanted to, to visit, to reach. It doesn't feel unattainable, but it does feel like it's this far away. I'm seeing that you're looking out towards it and, it isn't impossible, but it does feel like it's a little bit out of your reach. You need to stop and hold that vision. And I'm picking up that you need to, there is some sort of divine message that you're trying to download so that you can start your life all over again, or that you can start, you can go back and start whatever this is. For some of you, I feel like maybe you want to have an open world more quickly than it is actually actually possible. So there is something here that you want to reach, to attain. But maybe you want it to show up in your life or maybe you want to get there a lot more quickly um, than possible. Maybe it means that instead of driving to a certain place, you want to fly out because you feel like it's going to get quick. You, you feel like it's going to get you there quicker. Maybe it could be like a, maybe you're working on a project and you want to take shortcuts because you feel like, you know, you're going to cut corners. It's going to get you there quicker. If you don't stop to smell the roses at some point, you're going to miss the whole journey. I know you've got this destination in mind and I know there's something here that you feel like it's it's like coming back to something or coming back to someone or it's like whatever this is is going to feel like home to you but 
if you don't stop to smell the roses, you are going to miss the whole point of your journey. And that it's not always about the destination. You know, it's about the journey along the way. Drop the fight, drop the fight, drop the resistance. Things have, hap things have happened in your life and to the point where maybe you feel unhappy with it. Maybe you feel stuck, maybe you feel like, you know, it wasn't meant to happen. I feel if if you are in a situation where you feel like you're fighting against someone or against something to me I'm getting the message that you're so busy fighting against whatever this is you're so busy resisting whatever this is that you're not really looking for a solution how could you you're tying up all your energy into resisting or fighting this And you know there is a solution to, there's a solution to everything, there's a, to every problem, right? But you also know that you don't have it yet. Sooner or later, you will work it out, whatever this is, or you will work through it, or you will work things out with whoever this is. But right now, I don't think you have, based on the behavior in the Five of Wands, I don't think you have the solution just yet. As part of this, um, as part of what's going on right now in your life, I feel like you need to step away from a situation to give yourself perspective. Whoever it is that I'm talking to, maybe taking action is not the best, the best thing for you to do. Maybe you need to, uh, you need perspective on whatever this is. For some of you, I think it's because you're wanting to start, you, you're wanting to start something. Maybe it's starting all over again, maybe it's starting a journey, an adventure, an experience. When you start an adventure, when you start an experience, there's just so much to learn. And you don't know it yet, because purely you don't know it yet. You're just starting out on a cycle. You're starting this new cycle, this new life, this new relationship, this new job, this new reality. And you're on, you're starting out and it feels like you're a little inexperienced right now. And it's easy for you to sit there or stand there and focus on what you don't have. instead of meeting what you need to meet head on i feel like there's an obsession here you can't let go of something like it's a dream that you have and it's a goal that you always wanted to achieve and it's an obsession and you can't let go of it and I think it's a good thing that you feel this way. But drop the fight. Honestly, whatever this resistance is, You might, you might be wanting to, like, you could be wishing to feel 
at home with yourself. And these feelings, they're perceived desires of what it is that you want, but you don't, you're not there yet. Don't focus on what you're lacking. Don't focus on what's not showing up in your life. Because the more that you're going to focus on that, the more that you're going to get of that. Feel, re feel really relaxed about where it is that you want to go. And just enjoy the journey along the way. Like, whatever the end goal is, the end game is, whatever your destination, you know, wherever it is that you want to take yourself to, the dream that you want to achieve, the goal that you want to achieve, see yourself fully as having achieved that dream, that goal. Trust that. Trust in the process. And then don't just rush through this adventure, because that's what this is. It's an adventure. Really stop to smell the roses. Really stop to connect with people. Okay, because there are certain people that are showing up in your life that you're connecting with and that you're going to connect with that play such an instrumental part in your journey. And especially in this journey of self-exploration and self-growth, um, recognize that. So you are going somewhere. You're moving. Some of you are moving a little bit slower than you like, but you're not stuck. You're certainly not stuck drop the fight okay even if you're taking baby steps you're still moving you're still inching closely towards whatever this is and this is an energy of feeling home maybe feeling you know at home with yourself um maybe it's achieving that dream and when you do you finally feel like you're coming home or you know jumping into that relationship that will feel like home to you it is this very strong energy of home but enjoy enjoy the trip enjoy the journey enjoy the adventure along the way because you will get there you'll arrive there and when you do and if you stop to smell the roses you will look back on that and you will really appreciate all these unique obstacles and all these unique experiences that you've had along the way Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for your attention. Keep shining your light. Bye for now.